What makes a traditional barley twist an actual barley twist is two things. Is first, the cutter is the same diameter of the turned round stock that the twist is being placed onto. The second one is how many starts are in the actual spiral twist. So this field right here is already defaulted to a one start twist. So we need to know the spiral start and end position. Let's go plug in those parameters, 5.25 and 12.75. So our start position is 5.25 and the ending position is 12.75 this entire barley twist process is going to be applied to a diameter section that has already been turned around 2.5 inches. So let's go back and apply the section diameter of 2.5 inches. For now we are done and we can push finish and save. So let's go generate the g-code and now let's go to the machine and see what the cutting results are. So just like we programmed, the cutter starts at the starting position in this tool profile plunges to the first depth and then travels down the stock while continually rotating the material. This barley twist process is going to take four cut depths in total to give us the final detail. All the cutting advantages shown here are automatically included in CCAM Pro Barley Twist Toolpath.